everyone, welcome back to First Hand Globetrotting. I just finished an amazing visit to Luxembourg City and I'm off to spend a day or two across the border in Germany. But this trip isn't going to be in a major city or seeing any famous attractions. I'm just planning to head over to rural Germany and see what I can find. So my first stop is the train station to catch a bus out of town. It didn't take too long before the city faded away behind me and there was nothing but smaller towns surrounded by hills and nature. Bye bye Luxembourg, hello Germany. It was a pretty short trip and pretty soon we drove over the Mosul River and I knew we were almost in Trier. I've been in Trier before and it's a nice little city but this time I was only there long enough to hop on another bus and drive further into Germany. Another hour or so on the bus and I was at the northern tip of Saarland near the border with Rhineland Pulatnit. See what I mean when I said a small town? This was the main road. Not too many other tourists here I don't think. But as soon as I got there I made sure to have my favorite German snack food, Doner Kebab. It's good to know that no matter how small the town, nearly everywhere in Germany has a donor waiting for me. But by that time it was getting late so I just went back to my bed and breakfast and called it a night. The first thing I did in the morning was hike up to a little recreation of a Celtic village. I don't normally associate Germany with the Celts. I usually think more of the UK and Ireland. But this area actually has one of the largest Celtic fortifications ever built. The village is just a recreation but it shows what a Celtic town would have looked like 2000 years ago. I really like the sharp wooden spikes they used to build the walls around the village. I think I'd definitely stay out if I saw a wall like that. But if you hike a little further into the forest you come to something quite a bit older, the ring wall. This made up the main part of the fortifications and was about two and a half kilometers long. Building a massive rock wall that big today would be pretty impressive but I can't even imagine how they did it 2000 years ago. It was definitely worth the hike to get there and really fun to climb the stairs to the top of the wall and look out over Germany. You'll want to go there just to see how the massive stone wall snakes its way through the forest. For the rest of the day I just spent some time hiking through the woods and enjoying the Saarland nature. There were some nice hilly paths through the forest and of course some amazing places to stop for scenic lookouts. Just a great relaxing day mixing history and nature, having a really laid back time. But I had to get up bright and early the next morning to catch a bus and train back to the airport. This was just a super quick stop in Germany but I'm really glad I did it. Sometimes it's fun to just mix in a short trip that's completely off the normal tourist route. Plus getting to spend some time experiencing life in a tiny German town was definitely worth it. I always have amazing visits to Germany and it was nice to find out that even the off the beaten path spots are fun. But before long I was back in Luxembourg and on my flight to North America. If you want to hear about the first part of my trip to Luxembourg City, the link is in the video description. While you're at it, like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. On Instagram I'm First Hand Globe Trotting, on Twitter I'm First Hand Globe, follow me on there. And don't forget, it's an incredible world out there, so pick up your passport and do some first hand globe trotting of your own.